42-year-old Brian Sicknick, a Capitol Police officer, was injured in a confrontation with rioters at the Capitol Wednesday. He died last night. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi ordered the flag lowered to half staff this morning in his honor. Sicknick's death, under joint investigation now by the FBI and D.C. police, adds new pressure to the investigation of the attack on the Capitol. Federal authorities said today hundreds of agents and prosecutors now involved. This investigation has the highest priority of the Department of Justice, a deputy D.C. U.S. attorney said in a briefing Friday afternoon. The department will spare no resources in our efforts to hold all of these people accountable. A $50,000 reward is now posted for information about the person in this photo. The FBI believes the person is linked to the placement of pipe bombs on Wednesday afternoon at the headquarters of both the Democrat and Republican parties. Police say more than 17,000 tips had come in by this morning Thousands of people attended the pro-Trump rally before the attack, many from the Maryland-Virginia region. The FBI continues to circulate more than three dozen photos taken inside the Capitol Wednesday as the attack was going on, seeking help in making identifications. Among those now charged, a Maryland man, Christopher Alberts, accused of taking a loaded handgun into the Capitol, and a man charged with possession of 11 Molotov cocktails, two handguns, and an assault rifle in his pickup truck. The truck had Alabama tags. And a notable arrest this morning, Richard Barnett in Arkansas. He's the man seen with his foot propped on Nancy Pelosi's desk. He's now charged with theft and unlawful entry. Also now charged in this case is West Virginia State Legislator Derek Evans, who live streamed himself marching on Wednesday in the Capitol with a mob he is charged with illegal entering. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.